Hey everybody, Ben here from DMC Films and Cineblog Studios, and I am back with part two of how to make a sketchbook tome. Now the first part of this video, I forgot to turn my microphone on, so I'm just uh, narrating uh, basically what I was talking about uh, beforehand. So for this, you're going to need a hot glue gun. If you don't have one, uh, either go get one, or uh, using simple uh, white school glue uh, will probably work as well, provided it's uh, thick enough to do this. Uh, for this, I'm going to basically create uh, Roman numerals uh, on the sketchbook to create that old looking uh, idea. And for this sketchbook 17, it's XVII. So I'm basically just creating uh, those uh, numbers, or not letters. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to say this several times, uh, call them letters instead of numbers. Sorry about that at the time. Uh, also, I know there are guns with a trigger. For some reason, I can't find ours. So. I just have this older, older style one, and it seems to work well. So well, I did that on the front, and on the back cover, I used uh, basically a, it's a circle with a dot inside, and it shows up in my work quite a bit. And it's actually uh, the astronomical astronomical symbol for the sun. Uh, so it actually does have a little bit of meaning to it, uh, at least to some degree. And I think it added a nice little bit of uh, extra stuff for the sketchbook. All right. And so, right about like that, you have some hot glue sections. Now again, let these dry. We'll move on to our next layer uh, when, these, uh, when the hot glue dries. And again, you can choose to decorate things uh, a little more if you desire, uh, desire to do so, but I'm just gonna stick with this for the time being. All right, so our hot glue is still in the process of sort of solidifying and finally drying. But at this point, I actually wanted to come in uh, with a knife and kind of clean up uh, my little sections of glue a little bit. And uh, it's actually really uh, best to do this during this stage of as it's drying. So once it completely dries, this is going to be significantly harder to do. So I have a couple little bits of, of glue that I can kind of cut off and, and, and peel away. It should significantly help uh, our process on, on the next uh, stage. Now one thing this might do is chip away uh, at some of your uh, base layer, but that's actually okay at this point. Uh, any other imperfections kind of just at this point add, will add character to the fi uh, finished project. Cut that up. So again, make sure your hot glue dries before you move on to the next step.